Hey, what's up, guys? Mr. Pontini here, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to use uh, uh, this program right here called uh, XSplit, which um, actually, hold on, let me just remove this, which allows you to live stream on Twitch.tv or Ustream or whatever the rest of them are. Basically, to use Minecraft or Brick Force or really any game you want to use to live stream. Now, I gotta say right now, you're probably gonna need a decent computer and a pretty good internet, or else you're probably not gonna be able to live stream very well. So, um, yeah, with this, with that thought in hand, uh, let's go over to Google or any web browser you want and go ahead and type in XSplit, and this one should pop up. Going live is simple, that's usually the one. What you wanna do is go down here and register, and the thing is, most people don't get this, but you have to register. If you don't, you're gonna come up with a screen to sign in, and then it's not even. Then you're gonna have to go make an account anyway, so might as well do it right now, and then download it after. But after you've downloaded it, then you will get uh, this program right here, and um. Oh uh, crap! I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, never mind. Okay, anyway, yeah, you'll get this program right here. But one of the first things you want to do to get this ready is go over to Tools and go to General Settings, Channels, and Add, and uh, whatever one you use. I use Twitch.tv. So you want to type in your username and password for uh, Twitch, because that's someone I used, or any other one. <coughs> oh, I feel better. Okay, uh, I think I messed that up while I was burping. Anyway. Oh, jeez. Left my caps lock on. Okay, now that's good. Okay, now after you want to do this, you, uh, I'm not gonna go too much, I'm not really gonna go into this at all, actually. But this, you can search this video on YouTube somewhere else to figure out what settings fit your computer, or HD settings, or whatever you want to do. All that cool junk and stuff. So, uh, anyway, after you do that, you want to go ahead and click this test bandwidth right here. And, uh, what's that? Uh, what that is going to do is, uh, pretty much test your internet and taste. Taste. No, I can't talk. Anyway, it's going to test your computer and your internet, mostly internet, to see how well your live streams are going to turn out or if you're not even able to live stream. So first, uh, it's gonna pop up with a dot right here. So, um, but here's how you tell what, uh, it is. So, um, if it's red, then you cannot live stream. Most likely you cannot live stream. Either your computer isn't that well, or your internet isn't that good, but, um, if it's yellow, then you probably need to lower your settings a little bit and maybe it'll go green if you test it again. See mine is green because I have a beast computer and I have fairly good internet so mine was green. So just exit out of that now and you can click OK. Yeah but mine already exists so I'll just exit. And then after that you want to go ahead and click your name. OK. And now your name will be up here. So now what you want to do is you want to click the scene one or whichever one you want to be your Minecraft scene. So I'm going to stick this up here. So I named mine Minecraft. You can change it. It was originally scene one. Changed it to Minecraft. So after you've uh, done that, then you want to go down to whichever uh, one you've clicked will be your Minecraft region or your Be Right Back region or your intro or your whatever. So, um, this will be my Minecraft, so I'm gonna open Minecraft right here. Here's my Minecraft. So now what you wanna do is, um, basically, now, I don't know what is wrong with this, but whenever I try to record this, it usually crashes, so when you click Add Screen Region, then, um, after you've done that, just, uh, basically it's gonna pop up with this little red line that will go vertically and horizontally. Usually just click the very end right there and then go all the way down or just click the screen and it'll record the whole box. So um, I'll be right back and as soon as I've done that, because it usually stops my recording, then uh, I'll be right back. So yeah. Okay, so I'm back and now I've selected my screen region. And after you've done that, this little box will pop up and what, like, 
whatever you do in Minecraft will pop up in this box. So if I were to move my mouse across the top right here, you would see that in my little window down there. So um, now we don't you don't want to keep it like this. It's basically a rookie mistake. You don't want to keep it like this and start broadcasting because that's how it will look in your stream. This black box with this little box right here. So basically you want to just take this end right here, expand it, and there you go. So um, that's how you record Minecraft. And now you can basically load a level or whatever you want to do. Oh, I'm in water. Just get out of the water. I think this is my single player world. Yeah, this is my single player world. But um just get in my house real quick so I don't die. Okay, anyway, so yeah, that's how you do that and that's how you record Minecraft. And of course, when you want to broadcast, when you're ready to start broadcasting, click this, broadcast and then your name, Plantania. And it will automatically start streaming to your twitch.tv/whatever. Now here's another cool thing that I like to use all the time is uh once you have created maybe like a picture that says uh be right back or whatever like that you can go up here or no you can click the screen you want clack click clack click add add media file and then you can go to like your pictures or whatever so like plantania okay so now I will expand the picture just like the video and now I'll just say plant so now if I want to play Minecraft and then I'm like oh one second plantania but I've already created a few of these so I'm going to rem remove this and call it scene 8 again so I've created a few of these and this is just what you can do so I've created a be right back intro difficulties hold on and then my brick force which is my main screen on the left here you can see my main screen so um that's basically how you do that guys so um yeah when you're ready to broadcast maybe you want to play some music in the background just play it it will pick up audio with well i have my thing off and this is on but um this is your microphone. If you have a microphone and you don't want anyone to hear you at the moment, just click that button. If you want them to hear your audio on your computer, then you'll click this. Like if I wanted to hear Minecraft, but they don't want to I don't want them to hear my voice, I would click that and keep this on. So, um, yeah, that's basically it, guys. So, when you're ready to broadcast, just click your name. So, um, I hope this tutorial was helpful. So, uh, yeah. Hope you have fun with this. Peace out, guys.